Minister of Sports Faiza Mustafa says the country's sports law will be amended to appoint a committee comprising of retired judges for the election of sports clubs. The minister made this statement at a workshop organized with sports clubs. My opinion is an independent mechanism is needed when holding elections for sports clubs. I intend to hand over the entire election process to an independent election committee. Top retired judges will be appointed to this committee. This committee's appeals are directed to the minister. Well, those were, of course, the views expressed by Minister of Provincial Councils and Local Government and Minister of Sports, Faiza Mustafa. Well, you see, ministers will come and go. Different policies will be introduced and eventually be faded away. But what is saddening is the fact that the state of sports in Sri Lanka, cricket in particular over the past couple of years, have been the same in a dismal state of affairs. Now, given the statement made by Minister Faiza Mustafa that judges, retired judges will be appointed to committees to control the elections from all the way from the beginning towards the end, draws some sort of confusion. It, it remains unclear. And also, you see, if, if you really look at it, the multiple yorkers and bouncers and so on and so forth, bowled by a bowler at a batsman may be, may be troubling at times to rattle the batsman. However, given the current state of affairs, it appears that both the bowler and the batsman seem to be on the same team. So one could assume that both Faiza Mustafa and Telanga Sumatipala, the former president of Sri Lanka cricket, are on the same team, given the outcome, given the recent uh, situation surrounding Sri Lanka cricket. See, if you look back at the series of events which have transpired surrounding Sri Lanka cricket over the past couple of years, we have the greats of Roshan Mahanama, Kumar Sangakkara, Mahalaja Vardhana, Aravind De Silva being called into Sri Lanka cricket as consultants. Now, these, four, these couple of players submitted a report containing proposals for the benefit of the game. However, unfortunately, none of these proposals saw the light of day. Even Minister Navin Disanayaka, as Minister of Sports, took various mul and multiple uh, measures. He appointed committees and so on and so forth to eradicate, to rid the sports sector in Sri Lanka of fraud, corruption, so on and so forth. But yet again, none of these proposals, none of these, this report never saw the light of day. Even the sports associations in Sri Lanka, the Olympics, athletics, football, so on and so forth, have been waiting for the past five years for the sports law of this country to be amended. Nothing has happened. The, the question that we have to ask now, it begs the question, is this yet another chapter of an extended drama? Our plea is simple and basic for all Sri Lankans. Bring in new laws which will stop, which will bring a full stop to money being circulated when it comes to sports elections, be it Sri Lanka cricket, football, so on and so forth. That is all we ask.